Prices are dropping, inventory is increasing, and interest rates could be coming down. Let's go over what happened last month in the real estate world. So we're starting to see some interesting shifts. Buyers are pulling back due to high prices, making sellers more willing to negotiate. So we're transitioning from a seller's market to a more balanced one with inventory finally rising. In June, existing home sales dropped by 5.4%, both monthly and yearly, despite a 4.1% price increase. And new construction sales are also down 7.4% from last year. However, the median price for new homes is still holding steady. Mortgage rates dipped slightly to 6.78% as of late July, but many buyers are still hesitant. And what I'm seeing is that the DC market is mirroring national trends right now. Home sales dropped by 13.8% from last year, but the median price rose by 8.6%. We're seeing more homes on the market, up nearly 5%, and pending sales are 10% higher. So looking ahead, there's talk of potential rate cuts by the Federal Reserve as early as this September, which could further lower mortgage rates. This would be a huge relief for buyers facing high costs and it could stimulate market activity. So buyers buckle up because things could get heated in the fall if this happens. Luxury homes on the other hand are experiencing a boom with prices up 9% to an all-time high. Even though these homes are sitting on the market longer, the demand for well-priced homes is still remaining strong. So overall, the market is shifting. If you are considering buying or selling in the DC area, now is a great time to get in contact with me and get some personalized advice. So as always, sign up for my monthly newsletter at NadiaConnestates.com and stay tuned every month for your update.